seven key questions to ask yourself at the end of the year. At the end of the day, at the end of something, you want to ask yourself some key questions. So guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. We are at the end of 2022 as I do this video. And as I always tell you, I'm your girl in change and excellence. If whatever you're looking for in life or here is change, growth, excellence, then I am here. I'm your sister in the journey and I'm doing this just for you. So what are some of these questions that you need to ask yourself at the end of something? You know, and, and, and more specifically at the end of the year, number one, number one, and please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and tell me some of these things, <laughs> you know, questions that you'll be asking. Please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss when I post number one. What was the biggest lesson I learned? So what was your biggest lesson for the year? <laughs> so please let me know in the comment section. What was your biggest lesson lesson for the year? Oh, my God. Okay, that's one. I think for me, one of the major lessons for me was learning how to let go, learning how to uh, walk away, and learning to say no, you see? And it comes from a point of being very honest with yourself that, you know, this is not working or this is working. You know, being very honest with yourself, having a very honest conversation with yourself and being able to say, I want to let this go. You know, this doesn't benefit me in any way. This doesn't add my life any value. So I want to let go. So I think for me, that was one of the, my, my greatest lessons. Okay, let me know yours, please. Number two, what was the biggest risk I took? What was the biggest risk, risk you took in 2022? So that we know uh, going to the next year, going to 2023, uh, how do we keep on making you know risks and risks that actually you know because you see life is a risk everything is a risk you know but like what was your biggest risk did it work for you did it not work for you yeah please let us know let's have a conversation in the comment section number three what was your biggest surprise of the year did you attract the surprise was it something positive was it something negative or was it just something that just you know happened you didn't know, you know, or it's something that we can actually, you know, attract. Yeah. Please let's know on the comment section. What was your biggest surprise of the year? Did it work for you or not? Okay. And then number four, what was the most important thing you did for others? I think this is huge because somebody said that uh, if you haven't done something for somebody who can re never repay you, then you haven't really lived. You haven't truly lived, actually. <laughs> if you haven't done something for someone who can never repay you, you haven't truly lived. So what was the biggest thing you did for others? Because no one is an island. We, I need you to succeed. And probably you need me to succeed or to get to the next level. We all need each other. What did you do? Uh, what's the biggest thing you did? Because you always do something for others. So what's like the biggest thing you did for people? I think that's that's important, you know, and if it's giving you a sense of feeling, fulfillment, satisfaction, yeah, how can I keep on doing it? How can you keep on doing it? Just take some time and be honest with yourself and please let us know in the comment section so that we also get to learn and share and learn from each other, right? Okay, and then number five, what was the biggest thing I completed? Of course, you completed many, many things, yeah? And you know, one of the things that we actually need to master even for the next year and for your life is the discipline to finish what you start, the discipline to stay the course. When you start something, stay the course to the end, <laughs> you know? So, because even the word of God says that the end of the matter is more important than the beginning. So, what was the biggest thing that you completed? And so that we see what kind of skills did we need to master for us to be able to complete so that we keep on mastering, you know, those, those skills, yeah? For us to be able to finish what we start. And th that's number five. And then number six, what was the best thing that you discovered about yourself? Or what was the best thing you discovered about yourself? Because you see, you you know you think you know yourself. Hmm. You think you know yourself. Until you get to a situation and you react in a way or act in a way that you even surprise yourself. And it's like you discovered something about yourself. Like for me this year, I climbed the second highest mountain in Africa. That is Mount Kenya. 
and it was not an easy task task and i just got to see that um you know i didn't know i had the kind of resilience levels that i took because prior to climbing mount kenya i had um i only did like two you know two climbs you know acclimatization climbs yeah to to just pre- to prepare to prepare me for the peak the peak of mount kenya is about 5000 meters above sea level so i did a lot of um almost 6000 actually it's almost 6000 meters above sea level and i did a lot of uh you know uh, only two acclimatization um hikes or uh, climbs for me to prepare and i have seen people go for even eight acclimatization climbs to prepare for mount kenya so i did know i had that that kind of resilience to be able to you know take down that mountain you know having done only two before you know i think for me you know I, the kind of resilience and and uh you know mind preparation i think that i had or, or that i mastered I didn't know I, you know, I didn't know that I actually had that kind of resilience. And and the thing is that I was always on the alpha team. You know, when you're climbing a mountain, there are different teams. There are people who are just behind there. I was actually on the alpha team. Like I was very, very resilient. I didn't know I have those kind of <laughs> resilience levels, you know, that surprised me. And uh, it, it, it challenged me and encouraged me to even, you know, be able to go for higher heights, you know. All right, and then um, that's number six. And then number seven, who are the three people who influenced you most in 2022? And also in the same vein, who are the three people that you uh, mostly influenced? Who are the three people that influenced you the most? And also who are the three people that you influenced most okay so please let me know on the comment section i think those those seven questions are very important for you to be able to uh, kind of have a, a, a reflect and uh, be able to plan uh your your next year your next level your next project your next year much better you know so please take some time as we go through the celebrations and everything and uh answer these key questions and let me know in the comment section and see you on my next video thank you